So when you come in for your microblading appointment, we will of course have a pre-appointment consultation. So this is where we're going to chat about your brow concerns, your brow wants, um, your options, and what we're going to do with your brows. Once we agree on the cosmetic tattoo procedure and what's best for you, we will move on to the actual process of your appointment. Step one is mapping out your brows. So basically we map out your brows based on your facial structure. Um, and facial measurements. So I will be able to draw you out a skeleton outline of your brows for you to see and approve at that point. Once you get to see your skeleton outline, I'll help you envision it and then we can make any adjustments for personal preference at that point. So once you approve the shape of your new brows, we go ahead and apply the topical numbing cream. This numbing sits on your skin for about 20 minutes and during that time, we use the time to choose the best pigment shade for you. So basically what we're looking for in a pigment shade is the most neutral brown possible. Um, we don't want it pulling any reds or oranges or any purples or blues. Basically that is the color that it fades to over time. So we look for the most natural, neutral brown shade with your skin tone, undertones, and brow color in consideration. So how do we do this? We apply swatches to your forehead, so anywhere from 3 to 10 shades. We'll put some little swatches, see how this uh, color pulls with your skin tone, undertone, and brow color, hair color as well. Um, and then I will make a decision. I'll show you the shades and then we will kind of talk you through the best choice for you and your brows. Once we agree on that perfect neutral brown shade for you, um, normally the 20 minutes for the numbing is up and we are able to move on to the actual microblading process of the appointment. So once the 20 minutes for the numbing has elapsed, we've mapped out your brows, we've chosen that best shade for you, we're ready to start the microblading process. So what we do is we wipe the numbing cream off your right brow, we leave it on the left side, keep that effect going. On your right brow, we're going to be stretching out your skin and making strokes throughout the brow. You are going to hear a Velcro-like sound. That is completely normal. You will also possibly get the sensation that you're going to sneeze. If this happens, please let me know and we will wait until you sneeze or until this passes. Basically, you have nerve, en nerve endings in your forehead that give this sensation. It's kind of like if you tweeze a brow hair and your eyes get super watery, your nose gets runny. Same effect, just amplified. Once we're finished microblading your brows, we apply a pigment mask. This is the same pigment that we've been using throughout your procedure. We just apply a thick layer to each brow for and let it sit for a few minutes. Basically, it just really allows the color to sink in. We've been applying the color throughout the procedure with each stroke that we're making. It just really helps with retention. 